Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, hi my name is Lavinia and I post beauty videos regarding makeup and skincare three times a week, every Tuesday, Friday and Sunday at 8 a.m. Mountain Center time. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love for you to join my channel by hitting the big red subscribe button. So today we're going to be starting a brand new skincare trial. If you don't know, I do a bunch of videos here on my channel where I test out a product for a certain amount of time, give you guys my results. Um, how it worked, my overall thoughts, and we really just put skincare products to the ultimate test. And the item in the spotlight this week is the Inculus Tranexamic Acid Night Treatment. I am so excited to try this out. I've heard so much about it. I've seen it on my social media pages. And overall, it's a product that really intrigues me, not only due to the ingredients, but what it also claims to do. Um, so overall, we're going to be using this product to see how well it does at helping me with my acne scoring. So if you don't know, I have dry, sensitive, acne-prone skin. And with all the breakouts I do get, um, I do experience a lot of scarring as well. So I like to test out products to see, you know, if they can diminish scars um, and kind of help with dark spots since scarring does take a long time to heal. So we're going to be doing a two-week trial on this product right here, using it and seeing what it's all about. So if you want to see all of that, just keep on watching. Oh, you tell me stories You tuck me in And the second you leave I call you right back To check for monsters so as with all of my skincare trials, let's get into some product information before we actually apply this. And it is a formulated for all skin types, but it is best for normal skin. And its intentions are to help reduce hyperpigmentation. It is categorized as a treat product and it is supposed to be used at night, indicated by the little moon here. So right on the back it says, what is tranexamic acid night treatment? So it is a gel overnight serum containing tranexamic acid, which is a powerful amino acid that helps to decrease the appearance of dark uneven patches and dark spots so looking at their website right here this product retails for $14.99 you know keeping it very affordable for 30 milliliters I love that the ordinary always makes sure to price their products so that they are very accessible um, now you know I always love that the Inculus also features people with real skin this person right here you know you can see that discoloration that scarring that imperfection in the skin that makes skin what it really is you know I hate when skincare brands that are trying to target certain issues are just photoshopping and airbrushing their pictures like who is that gonna help? So that is really great to see. I found it very interesting when I actually started to do some research and look into this ingredient even further. So tramexanic acid, which is sometimes shortened to TXA, is actually a medicine that is used a lot, you know, in hospitals, really for medical purposes to actually control bleeding. It helps your blood to clot and it is used for nosebleeds and heavy periods. And if you're having a tooth taken out, tramexanic acid will be used um, as a mouthwash to stop that bleeding. So I found that so interesting that it does have this other use and that is now kind of being incorporated into skincare to also help with things like hyperpigmentation. So as far as the skin goes, it's very powerful at being a good anti-inflammatory ingredient. And it's also great at inhibiting tyrosinous synthesis, which is basically the process of producing a uh, pigment. So, you know, that's why it kind of can help with that hyperpigmentation. I just found that really interesting and I thought I'd share and then you know it is an amino acid and let's kind of talk about that a little bit so if you don't know amino acids do break down to peptides and proteins and in skincare they can be really great for hydration texture resilience of the skin and overall they're just really good at kind of building up the skin's elastin and collagen once they are broken down into those peptides it also says that tranexamic acid is a very effective on its own, but it works even better if you combine it with other dark spot fighting ingredients such as vitamin C, kojic acid, niacinamide, which vitamin C and niacinamide are some of my favorites, so that's nice to see. So going back to some of the information on here, we do actually see 2% vitamin C in this product, which is a derivative to help brighten the skin tone. So, you know, we do have that combination. We also have 2% acai berry extract, which is going to help promote the um, skin tone as well. Looking at the ingredient list, there's no fragrance like usual, which we like to see. Tramexanic acid is pretty high up on the ingredient list. We also have squalene in here. So I wonder if that will add to kind of the moisture in this product. 
and I'm gonna open it up right here because the more interesting thing with this is that you actually shouldn't be using a moisturizer with it. This is supposed to be the last step in your skincare routine, in your night skincare routine more specifically. And it does say on the website to follow with your usual skincare recipe, but to replace your moisturizer with this as your last step at night. So it says to apply a pea-sized amount. Apparently a little bit goes a long way. And once absorbed, you kind of leave it to work overnight and then wash it off in the morning. So what I am interested to see is, will this dry out my skin? You know, because I have super dry skin. So skipping it out on a moisturizer does concern me a little bit. But it does also say to prevent dehydration, we recommend to use this treatment two to three nights a week so that you can kind of use your moisturizer on those other days. Also, it says to not use any exfoliating acids or oil at the same time. And basically the reason that they don't want you to put this moisturizer or other oils on top is because it's likely not going to layer well according to the inky list. But I think we have heard enough about the product. I'm definitely just eager to get into this right away. So I'm gonna go take off my makeup and let's get into the first impression on this product. All right guys, so I just finished taking off my makeup. I've also cleansed the skin. So we are ready to do the nighttime skincare. Right now I'm actually keeping it pretty simple. Um, one of the only serums I'm using right now is this Cell Factory Hemp Cell Ampule. I'm just gonna apply some. So I guess no moisturizer. So we're gonna go straight in with this. So this is a quick before. I do have a lot of scarring in this cheek area around my mouth, especially. So you know what? I think we're just gonna apply it all over because I kind of have acne scars all over the place. Like that. So it has a bit of a jelly consistency. Okay, feels like a regular serum. Ooh, this smells like smoke a little bit. Yeah, like beef jerky. <laughs> so it says thin layer. I would say the layer I applied is pretty thin. Not that sticky, it honestly kind of absorbed right away. But yeah, it kind of smells like the combination between firewood and a beef jerky stick. <laughs> so yeah, not too sticky, absorbed right away, and that's the thin layer right there. So my skin definitely doesn't feel very hydrated right now, because I usually like to go in with a thick moisturizer at night um but we can't do that today so we're gonna see how maybe my skin feels um in the morning and I'm going to use this every other day kind of how they suggested so I won't see you guys tomorrow because I'll just be using a moisturizer at night but the day after that I will check in with you guys so see you then hey guys so I want to give you guys a update I have been now using this for three days and my skin actually hasn't been that dry as I thought and my skin hasn't experience any sensitivities or reactions and my skin's been looking pretty good every morning when I wake up so that's nice I just applied it right now and I'm gonna head to bed um, but I wanted to give you guys that bit of an update since I was kind of worried that this would dry me out um, especially skipping my moisturizer at night but so far it hasn't and my skin always feels really nice like right when I apply it and right before I go to bed my skin feels a bit tight because I'm not using that moisturizer but I haven't found that my skin has been dehydrated or lacking of moisture while I've been using this I just kind of go in with my regular moisturizer in the morning and kind of do that for now so that is the three-day update I will check in with you guys later all right guys so it is now the night time and i'm going to use the tramexanic acid um i didn't use it last night so i'm going to use it today now in my last update at the three day point i said how this wasn't really drying out my skin looking now at a week of using this product i would say it might be drying it out a little bit more than i anticipated um after that three day update i actually use it like three nights in a row without using moisturizer and i found my skin was just got very dehydrated and was lacking that moisture and with that i found i was getting some breakouts my acne wasn't healing up well and my skin was just lacking moisture so i stopped using this for about two days 
um, to kind of, you know, bounce back from that. And I just used a nice and deep moisturizer for those two nights and my skin kind of bounced back, which was nice to see. Um, so I definitely learned my lesson with this and I won't use it as often. I definitely think if you have dry skin, this could potentially dry you out and not from the product itself, but just because you're simply skipping moisturizer. So I would say maybe on the nights you're using this, try avoiding it very stripping cleansers or exfoliators or masks to really not strip those oils from your skin that you have too much before going in with this since you won't be using a moisturizer. So that's my thoughts right now, but I used a moisturizer last night, so I'm gonna use this today. So far though, I feel like my skin has been really enjoying this um, other than that whole drying out part. I honestly feel like the scars over here are lightening up a little bit. I definitely feel like I see a difference. Um, it does make my skin super smooth. When I wake up in the morning, I feel like my skin looks very like nice and very smooth very even so that's great to see and I definitely think it has been kind of helping with that pigmentation in my skin so those were my thoughts one week in and I will continue using this every other night making sure I'm not over drying my skin and I will see you guys soon all right guys so I am back and I'm here to give you my two-week update on the tramexamic acid night treatment from the inky list so it has been two weeks since I've been using this product and I have some thoughts so let's talk about it um, let's first apply it since it is the night now. I just finished my night routine. So I'm just going to take about a pump of that and apply it. So overall consistency wise, I still am really enjoying this. It kind of just feels like a thicker serum. Um, the scent is nothing that bothers me, but definitely if, um, you know, a campfire jerky type smell bothers you then just keep that in mind it doesn't linger at all though i can really just smell it when i'm applying it like over my nose and mouth area um but after that it definitely does not linger and it kind of has that sticky consistency afterwards i know we talked about dryness last time um and dehydration last time i checked in with you guys and i definitely made sure to not use this as often as i was using it before making sure that i wasn't dehydrating my skin and making sure that the nights i wasn't using this i was using a really nice and moisturizing and hydrating moisturizer um to make sure that my skin got that moisture back and that I wasn't over drying it out um, but having this alternate that way did work for me um, of course if you have more dry skin or you find that your skin is feeling really tight and dehydrated maybe try using this maybe every second night every third night and kind of build it up from there let's talk results now I definitely really enjoyed this and I definitely feel like it made a difference in my skin now of course it has only been two weeks so with a product like this and especially with an issue of, like scarring and uh, um, pigmentation that takes a very long time to heal I will need more time to really try this out to get its full effect and see really really great results but from just two weeks of using it I already feel like my skin um, and some of my scars really benefited from this product like right here in this section all of these scars I feel like were a lot darker when we first started this trial as well as some of the acne that has come up since um, this trial has started and that is now in the healing process I feel like they're not as red and not as pigmented since using this i feel like this definitely helped with that and helping with that healing process of um the acne going into scars now of course this product isn't really there to help with breakouts you know i have still been getting some breakouts um due to hormone stress makeup whatever it is you know it happens that's fine but i definitely think for acne scars this has been a product that has been helping my skin and i really really enjoy the look this gives me when i wake up in the morning i feel like even though it's not a moisturizer my skin actually looks super smooth and bright i feel like it definitely has the potential to help with the brightness of my skin and evening out the discoloration in my skin i'm definitely starting to see changes in my skin at the two week mark and i definitely will continue using this as i think it is a very effective product for scarring and a great affordable option that if you have scarring it might be something you want to look into if you're looking to treat it of 
course. So that's really my thoughts, guys, on this treatment right here. I will definitely continue using this. And if you guys want a further update, maybe let's say a month down the line or three months down the line or whatever it is, let me know down below in the comments. But that is it for the skincare trial, guys. And if you want to see more videos just like this, I will link my whole playlist of all my skincare trials down below in the description. And if you did enjoy, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and also make sure to turn on my post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. If you want to see more content from me, you can go check me out on the acne channel i am a weekly host on there and you can find tons of skincare content and you should also go follow my instagram and tiktok at lavinia rosanda for more daily content i hope you guys are having a fantastic day or night whenever you're watching and i'll see you in the next one bye guys oh you tell me stories you tuck me in and the second you leave i call you right back to check for monsters in my streets